So Gabe made a document here, and we're gonna look at the document. Queen Romana Didulo, Queen Dildo, the new Queen of Canada. Apparently Queen Dildo was trending on uh, Twitter last night, or the night before or something, and so, because her name is very similar to, you know, key figures. Romana, delusional conspiracy theorist slash cult leader. Uh, Frank, member of her guard unit who just got arrested, seems to be her second in command. Romana's Facebook, I'm not looking at Facebook. We got some links here, but, you know, firstly, there, we gotta acknowledge this. This is a baby jumper or something. Like, this is a, this is merch for a baby. This is a, what, what is it? Like a onesie or whatever. The thing that you put a fucking baby in. And it's got her, her logo, which, it's her face and there's fire. And she's wearing six sunglasses, and there's fire in the sunglasses. And then the text, the bottom text says, Peace and prosperity, or perish, Queen Romana. And the thing that was funny about this that we realized was that there are like 60,000 plus people in this group, and it's growing. So you can be 100% certain that this has been worn by a child who exists. So, uh, you know... Shout, sh yo! Shout outs to that kid, whoever you are in 40 years! Uh! Her discussion of her white rapper Filipino super soldiers that she's sending from cold storage to kill people who try to give the COVID vaccine to children. Please advise! Comms from Fort Detrick indicate that 4XR-0001 CRISPR Dash, genetically modified super soldiers are being pulled from cold storage and will be deployed within the hour. Formed by crossing the wide DNA of white rappers and Filipinos, we have created the strongest race known to man. Within them is a life force and power never before seen on this plane. May the Lord have mercy on anyone who dares cross them. So now, I'm obligated to inform you that this is not a joke, this is a real human being. And these are people that follow her, and to some quite disastrous results, as we will find out. Pets have died. Her Royal Majesty Queen Romana, faithful, loving, innocent, I ams of all ages have listened to your words and lo and enacted your decrees and now are losing their homes and ha and been cut off from services for non-payment. They ask you for help here in the Q&A. Uh, Q&A. More like Q and on. And on the chats, will you be answering their pleas for help? How long can they remain loyal if they are suffering losses and assistance does not appear to be forthcoming in a timely manner? We all want to see and be the change. Kobayashi Maru. Oh, you're such a fucking nerd. I stopped paying my power and hydro bills when directed by QR, Queen Ramana, and last month they shut off my utilities. I have been without power during some of the hottest days I have ever felt. To add to the stress, my oldest cat passed away yesterday, and I suspect it was due to the heat. I don't know what more to do. I can't keep waiting. I need power. I've been charging my phone and using the Wi-Fi at the nearby McDonald's in the meantime. So yeah, this lady's whole nonsense, essentially it boils down to she is telling people that her word is law and gospel and it is it surpasses the law of the government. And so she tells people to send them, send your power company, send hydro or whatever, you know, send your utilities, your internet company, uh, a letter that tells them that you are exempt from paying your bill because Queen Romana Digulo said so. And she is the one in charge, so they will listen to her. And for some reason, these people believe so b so blindly and staunchly in her that even though, like, it's proven to them now at this point that this is not true and that she her word means jack all diddly fuck shit uh, and their fucking cat is dead, they still worship her despite all of this, this despite their cat dying. They're so blindly faithful and devoted to this woman that they still believe in her d despite all of this. Uh, so that's that's pretty concerning. Romana Didulo, speech topics today. Bragged about being a dictator, says if you kill, you will be killed, says her decrees work in USA, reiterated she is an Arcturian starseed whose spiritual contract requires preserving humankind, her new role as mediator between the US and Russia. Yeah, that's another thing she loves. Uh, she loves Russia.
She's big on to on on Russia. Can we? Is this a video? No, that's just a picture. Okay. Um, you know, real talk here. Canada is fucking beating America when it comes to the sovereign citizens right now. Like Canada has mobilized its sovereign citizens into an insane fucking clown posse of. Of, of, of crazy people following a tiny four foot tall Asian woman in a in a Winnebago like <laughs> Canada currently has a religious cult of sovereign citizens America just has Arizona this is the absolutely deranged meal she served for her supporters during their protest at a police station Q what does a queen feed her subjects a veggies and sardines there is no punchline this is real life we also have sardines here. Sardines here. Take the plate and pass it around. She kinda looks like she kinda looks like a really tiny gender swap of like Reggie Fizeme. There you go. Meet and greet her majesty God, can you fucking imagine seeing this in public? I am so I I I am jealous of anybody who has had an encounter with these people in public and and it wasn't violent or whatever it is they do. Like I get excited when I see the car that has the bumper stickers that talk about how they sell, the person who owns the car sells a weight loss, miracle weight loss coffee. Like that's fun. I get excited with that. Can you imagine my glee if I walked down the street and this shit was going down? Like goddamn. I cut them up myself. She cut them herself. There it's holy! And here's the sardines. You guys run in and take one and pass it around. Sardines. And, and what are the veggies again? Like, what are these? These are, uh... They're like, okay, like big cherry tomatoes. And I guess that's like, is that like fucking cucumber? Okay, that's what's more alarming here, okay? We need to acknowledge this because the, the tweet doesn't bring, do it justice, right? The tweet just says veggies and sardines. And that's... A literal accurate definition. However, this is not veggie. This is not like, oh, we're gonna dip some fucking celery and some mushrooms and like what you know, some cherry tomatoes in like the ranch dip. No, this is just a fucking bunch of cut up cucumber. Who eats cucumber? Just like raw? Like in just just like this with the skin on and everything? And there's no dip. There does not appear to be dip. I guess you're just supposed to wet your mouth with the fucking sardine juice. Uh, mental. M mental. As, as as Gabe put it, absolutely deranged. I cut them up myself. She cut them herself. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Thank, Thank you. you. And here's the sardines. You guys want any? Take one and pass it around. Wait, is cucumber really a, fu a fruit? Really? Really? Cucumber is another one of these fucking sneaky ass, fake ass fr fruit vegetables, fruitables. I hate that shit. I got a bone to pick. I hate that shit. Oh god, no, you are right, chat member. I can see why you can't get enough of cucumber. I can understand that. That's a very good pun. I'm now even more confused by the Romana Digulo lore as one of their followers shared a message that their military doesn't engage in domestic politics issues, quote unquote. Uh, forwarded from H.H. H. King, David J. Carlson, Kingdom of America. All right, settle down. The military does not engage in domestic police issues. We do war! Or preventing war. All enemies foreign and domestic threat to our nations only. But There's also the fact that she's not the Queen of Canada. Why has no one actually called her? Well, this is another th This is one of those things where people see, like, a guy, like, about to jump off a roof, and you just go, like, well, don't do that. That's silly. Why would you do that? What does that accomplish? It's like, well, I don't know. I think they're kind of... I don't know. I think they're... I think they, it might take a little more convincing than just... But, um... Oh, um, you're actually not? I'm sorry. Romana's followers attempting something. I have no idea with this one. Delta Tango Delta! Urgent! Requesting immediate line of communication with Queen Romana! Deep State agents at Air Force Command have compromised NORAD and have grounded all military aircraft! The USDON here is on standby! Dash 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 02847392758 dash 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 uh, it's always good when your d urgent military message has a uh, one party emoji react on it uh, on Telegram, uh, as well as seven fires, uh, 15 thumbs up. Those guys heard the call to action and 31 hearts. You know, those those boys just want to be loved. 
But one person here has seen this, or p perhaps gained insight in Bloodborne, I'm not really sure. Dramatic march from Confederation Square to the Peterborough Police Station, where Romana DiGiulo's supporters plan to arrest the entire, question mark, uh, police force and turn them over to the military. Respectfully, this is batshit. <laughs> Uh, I like this person. Crime stoppers, that's what we're here for. Oh my god. Again, step your fucking game up, America. When have you ever seen them organized like this? This is impressive. This is fucking impressive. This is the Wu-Tang Clan! This is the Wu-Tang Clan, but it's with a K because it's also the Ku Klux Klan, because, you know, or maybe with a Q. This is the- the, the Q-Tang Clan! Yo! Okay, so first of all, you got this guy here who either looks like he just crawled out from under a bridge, or like he sings in a rock band from the 90s, or both. Um, you got this guy here who looks like he just crawled out of a bridge, or looks like he sings in a rock band from the 70s. Um, they're all white. I mean, I don't know what else we expect. I guess the lady herself is, like, Asian. She's, like, Filipino or whatever. And they talk about, like, Filipino rappers. Or, no, white rappers and just regular Filipinos, I guess. Um, yeah, they, too many of them look like normal people. This guy looks like Dusty Hogg from The Sims Bustin' Out. But too many of them just look like normal people. A lot of the actual staff people who have, like, all the fucking, like, Heaven's Gate white on... You know, that's a little bit concerning. Oh god, we got a Jesus Christ as king. Look at Tim Bob over here. Things sure have changed since he was in Korea. I don't like the gays, but I'll hug you, my brother. Because we are here together. In Christ. Christ's name. I'll suck your dick for Christ. I will, I'll do it. I won't like it. I, I swear, but I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, these people dressed in all white is, I mean, like shit, dude. Like, they might as well literally be handing out Kool-Aid. Isn't a lot of QAnon shit, like, like, straight up, like, Scientology, space religion, Xenu bullshit at this point? Like, hasn't it evolved to that? So, I don't know, these people might legitimately be the next Heaven's Gate. You might be- This dog down here might kill itself, everybody. I'm sorry to tell you that. that makes people accountable for this crap. Nothing's ever been proven to exist. There's a computer module from 1999, Dr. David Fauci, patent 0666, oh. called... Co oh my fucking God, here we go. UPC codes in the 666, here we go. Well, what is the song? Kathy, don't go to the supermarket today. Don't go. COVID-19. Did you low? But that's the only COVID-19 I can find anywhere in the world. So, how can a computer module do this to our country? Oh my god. Do you- okay, how many people were here for the last stream when I went on the story about the, the fucking lady? The, the power went out because there was an enormous storm in my building, and some fucking lady in my building was just like, Yo, the radio says it's ISIS! Like, this is the fucking- this is- that's- this is what this is. This is a bunch of people whipped up into a fervor because- Well, look, this- this lady here? This lady here? This Karen, this Karen, these Karens, this Karen over here. Get a load of this fucking Karen over here. But uh, but but yeah, these people. This is the this is the this is the fucking capital letter definition of of of. Well, Facebook says it's reptilians. Like that's a good question, chat member. Why is he wearing a 1776 shirt? And this is Canada. That's a good question, chat member. What happened in Canada during 1776? Sorry, you're an American. I'm also sorry you're an American. Try not to get shot today. I truly believe in my heart all of you are here because you're tired of living this way. Tired of living this way. Yeah, you know, all of these elderly... All of these elderly Hugh Whites who probably have each purchased a house and car or two uh, and probably have kids who are in college, which they paid for. Yeah, you know, they're really just getting fed up with the system, you know? They're really just getting fed up. It, it's enough. Enough is enough, you know? They won't be oppressed for any longer. Stone Cold over here will not be oppressed any longer. This guy who looks like my landlord, not gonna be oppressed any longer, okay? 
Not gonna be oppressed by the freedom they have to come out here and literally be this crazy. Not gonna be oppressed. They aren't taking it anymore, okay? Motherfuckers. You know, actually, this lady looks like she might be here to have a good time. She looks like she might be here for the same reason that this other person is here right now that's recording this. Oh my god, yeah, we got the iPad out. Mm -hmm. He needs that, he needs the iPad with the big, with the extra big print because he's got the bad eyes. He's got this fucking hat that says Q. God, can't, it's like awkwardly stapled on there too. This lady, you know, this lady looks like, you know, I can believe she's had enough. I can believe this specific lady here is gonna rise up and not not take any more of this shit. And this lady over here, she's just wondering what the fuck is even going on. I mean, she lives in the real world. She don't know what the fuck this is. She don't know what these these crack smoking crackers are all are all here for. I like this guy. He, this guy over here, he's all business all the time. All right, this guy over here, he's ready to pounce. He's ready to party. Uh, this lady is concerned for the children already, and this and the party hasn't even started yet. Uh, Frank is inside the vestibule. He's planning to arrest police and wait for the military. Um, there's a few dozen. Oh, there's probably kids here. Again, I mean, lest we forget, chat members, lest I fucking break out once more. The, the QAnon Queen Romana baby onesie, which you can buy for your fucking baby, which which you can have your baby wear that says, with Geocities flames and epic Tom to, Top Gun glasses, it says, peace and prosperity or perish, Queen Romana. And I love how this is kind of formatted like it's like Whisper or Snapchat or something too. Like that really, it's just the cream of the crop. It's just a cream of the crop product. I mean, I think I want to buy that. I don't even have a kid. Like, I'll shoot one out, you know, if I have to. It, I'll, I'll make a kid so that someone can wear this. You know, like, that's a good reason. Like, like, hey, were you a mistake like I was? No, but my parents had me so that, <laughs> so that I could wear a Queen Romana t-shirt. Yeah, or a Queen Romana baby jumper onesie thing. Yeah. Um, that might literally just be like a TikTok filter. I think this is a pretty good indication of their position. What? Yeah, it is, Frank. Yeah, it is, Frank. We could all start to call 911. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll Huh, 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 huh. <laughs> Oh, can we just appreciate the, the please clap energy of like, they're not, guy, guy, we all showed up here to storm the police station and they're not even here. What the hell? I'm going to call 911. This is bullshit. This will not stand. This will not, they just got ghosted by the people that they're trying to like, like riot against. That's, that's mental. Maybe I should just punch the hell out of that guy, and then they'll come. No, no, I'm, joke, I'm joking. I'm joking. For legal purposes, this is a joke. But people like that are you guys got a. That guy's got a tiny penis. For legal purposes, this is a factual statement. Also, look how happy this lady looks. Just look how happy this lady. She is so happy to be here right now. As someone in chat said, this is like half of their fucking mom's friends or whatever. This lady over here looks like she just got back from the book club. Like, oh, darling. Yes, we were just discussing mm, Pride and Prejudice. I found it was uh, upsetting how much mm, agency the woman had. Mm, yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my fucking goodness. <sighs> it's, just, it's just... You know... I, we make a lot of jokes here, right? And we look at this shirt, right? And it's obviously, like, obviously, oh, I'd be laughing, obviously. Um, I like how this, the person who's filming here is, like, striking a, a fucking pose, and the, they look like Spider-Man. It's like an action Spider-Man pose. Nice feet, by the way. But, you know, we all laugh. You know, this is obviously a funny shirt. And, you know, the obvious thing that, I co that comes to mind immediately is the, the phrase, imagine seeing somebody wearing this. But I had a thought briefly where I was just like, I don't know. I I respect that this crazy bitch is willing to wear this and go out in public and, and just, you know, just think this, you know, like it's like it's always great when you look at like a, a critically acclaimed like piece of media, album, game, movie, whatever. Uh, and there's like 
all universally positive reviews and one negative review from some, like, publication. It's similar to that. It's like, I respect that you're willing to have this stupid opinion, you know? All joking aside, I mean, you're allowed to have this dumbass opinion, and I'm allowed to make fun of that. And I am, I respect that you're out here proudly wearing this stupid fucking shirt. So shoutouts to them for, for being this brazenly stupid. <laughs> Can anybody pick a lock? <laughs> it's... Romana Digilo supporters arrested outside Peterborough Police Station. Uh, these are, these are arrests of citizens, not citizen arrests. This is a good lengthy one. This is three minutes and fifty seconds. <laughs> Yo! Yo! It's fucking Throwdown in Toontown again! That guy's pants are falling down! This is great! This is great! This is great! You're a fucking sicko! Is that what they're shouting? Are they shouting sicko? Guys! Guys, I feel so represented! You're a fucking sicko! You're a fucking sicko! Fuck that pizza! Fuck that pizza! You fucking pizza! You're going down! You're going down! Fuck you! Oh man, we got some, we got some, we got some cop ladies here. I'm sure chat. Every time there's there's attractive female cops, chat just. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Betty and Veronica over here. Chat's gonna lose their fucking minds. Show love. Are these crazy screaming psychopaths? Is this guy part of them wearing a shirt that says show love? This is chat. Oh no, police mommy taze. Well, okay, but okay, we got cheesecake for both sides here, all right? This guy looks like a looks like some kind of cover model. Like he's he's I, I wouldn't mind seeing him taking his shirt off. I'm just I'm just be real with you. I mean her too, you know, we're equality over here, but but like but like yeah, you know, the Peterborough police be looking good, <laughs> you know? Shame on a copper who tried to bring game on a copper! I am now a fan of Canadian police, says chat member. You need a fake COVID-19! There is no vaccine! You fake COVID-19! I love how fucking done with this this guy is. This is a great still frame of- uh, this- does anybody need a new picture? New- new, uh, new- new profile? This guy just like... <laughs> wow, you people are really doing this. This is just a brief moment, like, this is the- the calm in the middle of the eye of the storm. Just a brief moment of- Wow, you people are- yeah, you're really doing this, aren't you? Quote a chat member, where's COVID 1 through 18? You overplayed your hand! Wait, are they- are they shouting racists now? Oh no, they're shouting Masons! Okay, well that- Yeah, that's more on brand. Alright, yeah, no, okay, I believe- <laughs> Uh, I believe that. Recent message from a follower of hers after they attempted to attack and arrest police officers and got attacked and arrested in response. Frank, Tim, and Peggy were targets to use as an example by the police to scare we the people. Bad attempt by the police as they committed crimes right in front of we the people. Okay, first of all, again, this is Canada. We literally don't even have a we the people. What are you doing? You are the dumbest. You are somehow dumber than American QAnons. Um, Gabe, get the fuck out of here with your with your bullshit. You get you get you and your 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 little cursor down there. Another sting operation. As this co as this goes through the Maritime Court, more crimes will be okay. The Maritime Court now. Uh, more crimes uh, will be exposed and all guilty parties arrested. Thankful to Frank and the others for being so courageous and hopefully continue to be. That's English, sure. Uh, you know, you're from Canada, bro. Talk English. Come on, man. If you're gonna live in my country, you better speak my fucking language right, man. Talk English correct. This is my analogy as I fully trust Queen Ramana and her mission. 
Oh, we got some bonus footage here. Okay. Oh, very cool. Shortly before Romana Didulo's supporters got arrested, the group ventured into a restricted area of Peterborough Police Station. Well, yeah, look, remember China? The healthy people, the people that were about to die, went out for a war. I mean, to be fair, if there was a real pandemic targeting old people, you'd think all of these fucking people would be dead, so I don't know. <laughs> Oh my god, this bitch in a cape! <laughs> She's wearing a cape! She has got a cape! She is ready! She is ready to fuck someone up! She is ready for war! Super Karen! Wait, 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 we've got like fucking 80s synth wave happening also. This is, this is unbelievable. Holy shit. We got, we got cucumber and tomato and sardine meal. We got synth wave. We got a guy in a 1776 shirt, even though this is Canada. We got people saying we the people, even though this is Canada. We got a super Karen and a fucking cape. We got fuckable cops. It, it, it's going down in Peterborough. So, uh, I'm taking a break with a joint. The crowd has thin thinned out, uh, quite a bit. Uh, I think snack time is over, and now we are listening to... Now we're doing 420. Tuh, huh. 420. And nobody owns the right to a seed, any seed, and if they do, who owns it, and how many do they own, and where do they get it from? Yeah, that's fair, old lady. I, wait, are you... Okay, she's chilling with this lady. So is this lady with them, I, I would assume, maybe? Or, or is she just a random passerby at this event? This is the most rational corner uh, of the police station at this point in time. It all went so started with Peter Strzok say, Snow, we'll stop him. Ah. Uh. They needed New World Order. Uh, okay. <laughs> Oh, you can just see the moment this lady's like, all right, well, you know, maybe it's not that rational, but, you know, she does, she likes her weed, at least, you know, we can agree on that. <laughs> That's great. Subscribe to this lady. Follow her on Instagram or Twitter or whatever, whatever site we're on. Check out her YouTube. She does sick Minecraft and FNAF Let's Plays. Probably not. Uh, I'm just assuming that's not true. What's more real, COVID-19 or $20,000 in this protester's bank account? You got to lie to brother. I'll give you okay, 20 grand. Hey, you can prove it exists. I'll empty my account and give you 20 grand if you can prove it exists. Because you can't. I mean, can you prove the 20... Can you prove the 20 grand exists? Also, you can prove the people died of it. I mean, like, there are people that have officially died of coronavirus. So it, it gets into that, it gets into that no true Scotsman shit where it's like, well, you can't prove coronavirus is real. And then someone, you know, <clears throat> one of these five people goes, well, my dad died of coronavirus. And then 1776 guy goes, well, you know, they said it was COVID, but actually it was, uh, and it's like, okay, well. Anything that you can tell me that a person died of that isn't COVID-19, I can just say, well, okay. So they died because they had pneumonia, huh? And which fucking deep state psyop invented pneumonia, friend? Oh, there she is. Looking like a fucking gangster within her fucking Winnebago. As someone said earlier, RV1, you know? She's, she, this is, uh, I wonder if the glass is bulletproof yet. I mean, obviously it's not. Like, like this way, this lady is a target to nobody. But, yeah. <laughs> but she's a threat to many, most likely. Hello. I like the idea that this guy who's driving this RV right now is like the main character of some open world video game. And this is just one of the many side missions that he has to do about like, oh man, I got to drive some crazy cult leader lady around. Okay. And then later on, they get in like a chase with the cops and you know. This is the closest Frank Curtin got to performing a citizen's arrest. He nearly missed the opportunity because he either forgot or didn't realize that women can be cops too. Uh, they're not cops. No? Sorry, sorry ma'am, I thought you were somebody else. Oh my god, wow. Yeah. <laughs>
you know, charitably, maybe you can say that they weren't dressed like cops, but if it was two guys, I don't know, you might have still assumed uh, they're plain clothes cops! And because it's two women, they're just like, oh, well, the, oh hey there, little little miss. Yeah, you couldn't hurt a little, you couldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were somebody else. Oh no, she's hot. If Jesus Christ is king, right? And Romana is the queen. Is Romana married to anybody? Do we know? Do we know if Romana is married to anybody? Because it's, what's his situation? Or is Romana just like, like, you know, like, is she bought into the, uh, she, she is queen, Christ is king. Like, she, she, you know, that could be it, too. And that, that just, that just raised a whole thing I didn't even think about. If Christ is king and she's queen, then I mean, yeah. Do you work for this, uh, police department? Do you work there? Do you? Okay. You guys, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to place you under arrest with the rest <laughs> of them over there. All right, we didn't think you were cops for a second there because you got them um, uh, hooters there. And uh, they are some mighty fine hooters, by the way. If you don't mind showing me to them, um, I, I'll, uh, I'll send you my phone number here. You can just send me a couple of uh, pictures of them there. But uh, but that'll be after you get out of uh, out, of, out of the out of the, um, the handcuffs we put you in because uh, we, you're you're going under arrest, eh? You you know you you you've been you've been tiring to up this country for too long. You see. Right of it. You know the Friends people that are dying from the vaccine. My sister's injured well, and I have dead students. There is Friends. no COVID nineteen. Yeah, I hey. guess you don't want to hear hey. it, eh? Your oh my god, there's like 40 fucking flight males just, just surrounding this car going, just, 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 just fucking clucking like chickens, like, ah, you don't want to hear it! Ah, 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 ah. We know the truth! Ah, ah. My sister had a vaccine injury! Ah. You guys are gonna hang! Your boss should huh, huh. quit your job. This is like an official threat, like at that point. Where's I don't know. Robert? You had a year to take me out, you failed. Now I'm gonna, we're gonna review Never been tucking out. Yeah. All of you. Yeah, all of you. All of you. You won't be going into work today if that's what you're thinking. All of you. All of you are gonna be under the gun today, let me tell you, boyos. Oh, yeah. Some of the chat says have we got to the Ram Ranch counter protester yet. And <laughs> Gabe is currently finding the link as we speak. He's just entered that in. Counter protester physically attacked by supporters of Romana Digilo. <laughs> No. Can you take that out of here, please? Ooh, I don't want it here. Get it out of here. Get it out of here, dude. What's this all? Right now. You're Oh, this guy looks like he means business. <laughs> I love the concept of this guy coming in with... These people are all protesting. This guy comes in with a different... Uh, protesting them with a sign that's like, well, vaccines are fine, though. And these people are like... Well, I don't want that here! You have to go! No! Ugh! No! I don't like that! No! That makes me feel bad! I don't like it! Get it out of here! Get that sign out of here right now! Are you afraid of a choice? Get it out of here now! Get out! I got in. No! Not here! We believe in freedom and 1776 and all that, but not freedom of choice. You are not allowed to come out here and support what you believe in. Uh, freedom for us, freedom for me, but not for thee. Please leave. Get people I'm not playing. Get out. Get the hell out of here. I got treated this way. Get out, dude. The way I got treated for not wearing a mask, you're getting treated that way now. Oh, this guy's really hard done by because he wouldn't fucking wear a goddamn... He wouldn't just put on the fucking mask and put up with it like everybody else because he was too fucking good. Let me tell you something, cunt. Uh, not a, not a lot of us actually like wearing the masks. Not in, I don't like wearing them. I don't have to anywhere anymore, most places. But, you know, if I'm on a plane, I gotta wear one. And, uh, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna be a little fucking baby bitch lad about it like you. Because I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I don't act like I'm too good for it, you know? That's what it really comes down to. It's, well, I'm not wearing that. I'm not wearing that. Everybody else is a pleb, but they're better than that. 
And this guy's too fucking good to walk into his goddamn no frills and just wear a fucking mask with the rest of the people. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You have to see his pretty face. Because, I mean, how could the world miss out on his lovely face and his germs, you know? Even this guy, even this dude who apparently got arrested or whatever is just like, okay, settle down there, fucking Stonewall. So settle the fuck down. Listen, this isn't this isn't Saturday nights when you bring out the fucking white hood, okay? This is settle down. I thought he would have been playing Ram Ranch on his like phone, like one of those IRL streamers or whatever, but no, he just has a sign that says vaccine save lives, Ram Ranch. And it's really funny, I mean, these people are just so in unbelievably triggered by just this simple sign. They all have their signs, we've got cor- There was some fucking idiot with a sign before, I didn't even point it out, but it was like, capitalist, corporate, fuck, government, whatever. You know, crazy, insane people bullshit, and this guy, like... This guy just has one little sign, and this guy's literally like his eyes are bulging out of his head. What a tiny little baby. What a joke. Okay, hey, 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 you guys find this? They do. No, they don't. They do. This guy, guy is wrong, but he has the right. Cares. Oh, this is so bad. Cares. Oh, you're so fucking bad at this. You couldn't work the words out a little bit more to be an actual fucking a acronym. Cares. You couldn't make it like Canadian adver Canadian I don't know something that makes it like C A R E S like cares. No, it's cares. Again, you're allowed to have this stupid fucking sign. This is totally fine. I you know, I'm talking shit because I'm talking about like, you know, the fr freedom as we know it. But obviously these people are uh, free with uh, under Queen Romana. So, you know, uh, they have a different system. Obviously, dissent is not allowed and they're correct and anybody who disagrees with them is wrong and so if you're if you're if you're protesting them i mean it's okay for them to protest cuz they're right right but like they're if you're protesting them and their cause i mean they're right like why would you be protesting them cuz they're right you see what i mean is like cuz they're right like that's just stupid like you shouldn't be allowed to do that cuz that's just stupid like why would you be allowed to like counter cuz i'm right cuz i'm right you can't protest me. I'm right. Oh, oh, it's on. The sign's fucking gone. Get the fuck out. Go get another 200. Are you live? Hey, this guy might be because we don't know who he is. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. They're fucking getting suspicious to the person with the camera. This guy is trying to film us. See, I knew he was trying to film us. Get your phone out of here. Oh, you can't, you're not allowed to film us. We're allowed to do anything we want, but you're not allowed to do anything we don't want. We're not adult babies. We're not literally grown up adult babies. Hey, Weekend, how's it going? Uh, so that's that video. Oh, wow, I really hate the guy in the 1776 shirt. I mean, I really, I really hate that guy. Like straight, like I'm allowed to just hate a person, right? Like, am I still allowed to just hate a person? Is that okay? Can I, just, can I just hate? Can I just hate a person? Like, cause he's not- he's- he's white and everything. Can I hate him? Cause he sucks. Like, fuck that guy. <laughs> fuck that guy. There's a short follow-up, 40 seconds or so. Counter-protester in- endures three separate physical assaults from an older lady who grabs his knapsack, lifts her foot to his crotch, and rips off- rips off his mask. This happened directly outside Peterborough Station. There is not a single cop in sight. Let's, uh, let's fucking watch. We got, you know, this is reporting from the scene. You're all assholes! Leave them alone. Leave me alone. Okay, well, now, let's be fair here. Uh, we call, we're calling this a physical attack. Leave me alone. She, like, puts his, I mean... I guess she's threatening him. Yeah, oh, that is pretty close. That's under the shirt. Her foot is under his shirt. She's getting dangerously. That is uh, something. That's either so that's some kind of assault, either sexual or otherwise. Yeah, yeah. I, get out. You fuck. Hey. Get out. Hey. This isn't even Super Karen. This is just a different grandma who's like coming along, fucking ripping off people's masks, kick, kicking them into balls. Stand on guard, says. High important message. Frank, 
the second you are released from custody, call an ambulance 911 from outside the police de de detachment and go straight to hospital. We need to preserve your chain of custody for of your injuries immediately after release for your multi-million dollar civil suit. Do not go home first or anywhere else, not even Tim Hortons. Go straight to hospital. And then whatever this, what is this again? One WWG one W. That's a thing. That's some white people thing. I don't know. What are we doing first here, chat? We've got two websites. You know, we're going to do we're going to do a poll. Just hold on. I should say website one is just queenramanadidulo.ca. Website two is called Canada First Party of Canada dot CA slash our dash leader. Oh, the YouTube's pulling out. The YouTube's pulling out ahead. It's anybody's race, folks. The YouTube could take it. The Telegram website two is pulling ahead. I don't know what's wrong with website one. I don't know why people don't want website one, but website two is just taking a drastic lead. It's anybody's race. Get your vote in now, folks. Well, it's not anybody's race. Website one loses. I mean, fuck that. Fuck website one, right? Like, like I don't know why you all hate it, but whatever you hate it, I hate it too. Fuck website one. But website two is in, is is like it, oh, it's second. It's the second one now. Telegram is in the lead. YouTube. YouTube and Telegram and Website 2. Now I'm gonna cut this off around 500 votes. We're over 350 now. Website 2 is in the second. We got Web Telegram with 30%, Website 2 with 29, 25% for YouTube, and a measly 17 for Website 1. That's the Green Party right there. 380 votes now. It's still, it, Website 2 is pulling ahead. It has got a substantial lead over YouTube. I, I'm not. I, I'm not believing what I'm seeing here. I would have assumed that website two. I mean, why would website two pull so far ahead of website one? Right? The voting is almost over. By the time I finish saying this, it could be done. Telegram is just narrowly in the lead. Oh my God! Website two is pulled in the lead. It's 477 votes, folks. Anything could happen. You're in the last moments. The last moments of the poll. We cut off at 505. 505 votes. We end the poll. Website two wins with 30. I don't understand. I wasn't expecting that, but okay. <laughs> well, website two wins, which is Canada First Party of Canada dot ca. Which, if you want to get real technical here, is Canada First Party of Canada dot Canada. <laughs> but you know, it's really driving home the point. So that's that's important. That's important. Let me drink some booze. Hang on. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah. My beats are slamming. Ramana DiGiulo, Canada and Canadians' economic freedom or enslavement depends on you. This is your last chance to make a real change in Canada. We have to save Canada and Canadians from globalists and communists chokehold. That means dissolving all pre-existing national political parties in Canada because they have been infiltrated by and are serving foreign interests. Your plans for Canada and Canadians are not your plans. Romana DiGiulo, founder and first leader of Canada First Party of Canada. Now she does look a lot more youthful here. She's kind of looking like a bit of a porcupine. She got that porcupine weave be going on. Um, welcome to our website, blah, blah, blah. Early life, a short background to the name Romana. Rom, 50% from father's name, Ramualdo Dijulo, and then Ana, 50% from mother's name, Ana Dijulo. So, well, that's not, okay, that's not 50% of his name. It should be Rom Romuana, actually. If you, that is categorically, there are eight, there are eight letters in this name. That is three of them. That is not half. That is not 50% of his name. Uh, so that's a lie. That's the first lie from this politician. Uh, the child's name, Romana Digulo. But is that the real name, though? Is that actually your name? Because... Because, like, did they name you? I mean, did they did they name you that? Was that the actual name your parents gave you? Or is this, like, I'm gonna rename myself and it's gonna be this fucking thing that I gave myself? I don't know. Maybe they gave her that name. Uh, born to a privileged life. Modern equivalent of royal family. The youngest of two children, Romana, was raised speaking English, Latin, Spanish, Tagalog, and Hiligaynon. That's cool, I also speak Klingon. Uh, the same grandmother of hers, who, comma, who, comma, mounted strategic defense and offense 
and successfully blocked the Japanese from invading their regional stronghold during World War II. Growing up with the profound influence of her grandmother, father, Romualdo Digulo Jr., a lawyer and engineer, and her mother, Anna Digulo, and eldest auntie, Winnie Freda Digulo Delphin, school principal. Oh, man. Oh, can't we have her run for politics instead? I don't want you. I want Winnie... Winnie Freda Digulo Delphin. Can somebody make a song that's called that? Like, wow, that's great. After she became orphaned at 10 years old and again at, at 11... Wait, what? Wait, wait, what the fuck? After she became orphaned at 10 years old and, and then again at 11? Romana's father died when she was at the tender age of 10 years old and just as she was beginning learning to cope with the devastating lo lose her mother also passed away a year later. Okay. Well, you were orphaned once. Uh, uh, are you orphaned if one of your parents are is dead? I don't think so. Uh, we got a title with image box text. We got literal bottom text here, folks. I mean, that's big. That's huge. Conscious choice to accept Canada as new home. Oh my god, it's Laura Mipsum. Oh my fucking god, it's Laura Mipsum. They didn't even finish the fucking bio about this bitch. They finished the headlines! Look at this! They finished this bullshit! They, we got the whole- Maybe this isn't even real. I mean, like, maybe none of this is even real, because, like, why wouldn't you finish this, right? If you- unless you just didn't finish, re like, writing it, you know? Like, why would you write all of this, her uncle and his families, and then- and then just Laura Ipsum for the foster home plus school plus employment plus youth volunteer plus representing Canada at youth conference as panelist in Chicago, USA. Why is that Laura Ipsum? That's important stuff! That's good stuff! Good stuff! Like, I want to know about your conscious choice to accept Canada as your new home. Why would I, as a patriotic and slightly racist elderly Canadian white person, want to support you, a dirty, filthy foreigner, if I can't even know about your conscious choice to accept Canada as your new home, it's Laura Ipsum! I mean, you know, you told me that you speak Latin, but, like, this is the- you don't, you don't need to flex it this hard. Come on now. The only one that has a picture is here. It's amazing! It's like you were intended to read through the Laura Ipsum! That's amazing! You- I guess I shouldn't be surprised, because the fu- Because, like, the images don't work either. I mean, you know, it does say we're we're making changes to the website and allowing more payment gateways. Uh-huh. Oh, good. Oh, good. So we can support the Patriot over here. The patriotic movement. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Can we can we can we donate to Eric as well? Can we donate to, to Eric's memory, too? That's cool. But yeah, we got broken images. We got lorem ipsum and then just down here. I mean, beyond all of this, we've got whatever this is. What is this? I mean, what is this? This is something called, well, this is an advertising feature. This looks like it's kind of designed to look like a newspaper article, but it says up here, advertising feature. And then down here, it's like, it got the fucking business card for the company. This is fake. This is supposed to look like a fucking, oh, well, the news is talking about us. We're important. The news is pointed out that we're providing global solutions, blah, blah, blah. But actually, this is just a some fucking copy that we put together in a, in some, like, advertising section. And it's meant to look like a newspaper. That is incredibly scummy. We got more no Laura Mipsum. We'll never know why she is deciding to enter politics. Now, I have a question. <clears throat> Please excuse the mess, right? That's what it says. We're making minor changes to the website. And installing more payment gateways. So, I have a question, right? Minor changes. I don't know. I would. F I feel like including the text here that's not just placeholder default text. Uh, you know, I feel like that's, like, a, not a minor change. Personally, I feel like that's a, a pretty crucial change. Like, one you might have wanted to write out first and then, like, launch the website even. Like, not even... Edit it after it's been written. Like, just write it and then the website. But no, your, like, minor changes is... It, it includes, like, further explaining why we should even support this lady. Uh, it's about... It's time to clean up the deep, quote-unquote, swamp in Canada. Together we will put an end to corruption, bribery, criminality, incompetence, hypocrisy, and lies in government. 
And, you know, we can continue here. Building Canada's National Economic Corridor. Uh-huh. Well, that's fine. Sure. The end to your tax increases. Oh, they're going to eliminate tax, everybody. How are you going to pay for freeways and roads and public transit and things like that? No, you don't. Oh, don't worry about it. Okay, I'll just not worry about it then. No taxes. Don't worry. Brain empty. Ending big governments. A free society has small governments with limited control. So small they literally can't even fucking write up their entire website properly before launching it. Uh, launching it. We are reducing government, fe federal government size from its current size by 50%, then down to 30%. Okay, do you have any actual plan to do this? Do you have any actual written out plan that involves people and statistics and actual point-to-point -point information, like any actual real information other than but we're gonna do it, though. Uh, let's see. Freeze immigration for 10 years, except for investor immigrants who are opening companies this is hard to read, companies in Canada to employ Canadians and, oh my god, it's black on black and these under the family what Canada once again will decide who we want to admit into this country, not the United Nations. Well, okay, you're, like, Filipino, you're Asia-Mexican, okay? So why are you telling Canada? Why is this crazy bitch coming along? Okay, no, again, you can't come at me. You cannot, this is not left-wing dork anymore. This is rationality dork. You cannot come at me no matter what you believe and tell me, oh, the fucking foreign interests are done with ruling Canada and its political parties, and then vote for a lady who is not from Canada, who d has decided that she is no longer allowing immigration to Canada, a country which she immigrated to. Why would she not be cool with immigration? She immigrated here. Shouldn't that be part of her fucking plan? What the fuck? That makes no, literally no sense. Holy shit. Our indigenous why are our indigenous people still living in third... Well, this is just kind of true, actually. I mean, <laughs> this is just kind of true. I mean, we get people that come out here fucking campaigning on, oh, we're gonna help the fucking natives, and meanwhile, these people still have to boil water to, like, drink it. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, fixing Canada's addiction to fentanyl, heroin, and... Oh, how are you gonna do that? We're gonna get these Canadians off the streets and into rehabilitation centers where they can be properly taken care of medically and given a chance at recovery and eventually become part of our society again. A Canada First government will build a one-stop shop rehabilitation centers across Canada, one to two centers in each province and territory with five... Oh, wow. I, I love... This is another thing I love about shit like this when people... Crazy people come up with, like, their, their, like, plan, you know? And it's like, oh, like, one of those fucking, like, one of those, um, one of those, uh, fanon wikis for, like, fucking Super Nanny or whatever. And you go on there and it's like, most of the articles are, like, just a, just a title and they aren't even written. But then you click on one and it's, like, just a way too detailed. And it's like, why did you put so much effort and in, in, like, why did you focus on specifically how many rehab centers per province or whatever, and bed capacity? And meanwhile, entire issues like ending big governments. Oh, we're just gonna do it. Don't worry, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Just don't trust us. Just trust us. Uh, our veterans for decades, both the liberals and conservatives have neglected and denied. Okay, well again, this is one that's just kind of true. This is one that's just kind of true, uh, you know, just like, you know, even someone stupid like Bernie Sanders had a couple of good points, so, you know, I can understand. Uh, Canada First Government will release $1.5 billion to the veterans for their benefits and medical expenses. We are also going to set up Canada's Veterans Investment Wealth Funds to ensure our veterans are well taken care of. Well, yeah, I mean... Fine, yeah. I mean, that almost feels like something where it's like, we're gonna make education better, and we're going to give you more jobs. And and it's just like, well, how? I don't know, but it sounds good, and we can all agree on that. Like, every, every party, even the crazy ones, they need a couple things that everybody can agree on. We can all agree that veterans deserve better than either of the parties are willing to give them. Uh, but... 
You know, it's uh, it's sort of pork barreled in there with a lot of other stuff. Creating Canada's sovereign three sovereign investment wealth funds. Within 30 days of taking office, the Canada First government will create Canada one Canada's investment wealth funds, uh, Canada's Indigenous investment wealth funds, and Canada's Veterans investment wealth funds. And these funds will invest 50% domestically and 50% internationally. Now I'm no econ economist, all right? Okay, and I don't understand. I barely even know math. I'm on like a fifth grade level of math. But where are you getting the funds from though? You're gonna create these wealth funds, huh? Where's that coming from? Because from what I remember from like just a few slides earlier, aren't you getting rid of taxes though? Aren't you, in some cases, completely eliminating taxes? So how precisely are you making these funds for all these people? I don't know. That sounds like you're not going to do that, actually. Managing our national resources net revenues. 30% Canada's investment. All right, this is just more like numbers that are meant to mean something, but don't really. We are a federal party. This is the, this is the website, Canada First Party. Federal party with specific vision, mission, and goals to put Canada and Canadians first in every decision we make as a government. If you're a patriotic Canadian, permanent resident, landed immigrant, and resident, welcome to the tribe. Uh, we are not part of or beholden to the corrupt and inhumane globalists slash communists slash NWO slash UN slash Great Reset slash 2021 slash 2030 agenda. This is just me as a YouTuber, you know, I have to think about, I have to think about like, you know, uh, clickability and ad revenue and stuff. And, and I, you know, just looking at this, this is not a very good title. I mean, I mean, is it is for me, it signals if I use this as a title, this would show people that this video is full of crazy shit or maybe signal that I went off the deep end and now I believe this crazy shit. But for you, I mean, you know, just pick one really. I mean, not beholden to the corrupt Globalists. There you go. You got your point across. Uh, but then some of them don't work. Not beholden to the corrupted and inhumane uh, Great Reset. Well, that's not a person or an entity. That's just a thing. That's like a thing that they're doing. I don't know. I get your, I get your point, though. Major political parties, plural, in Canada who are in the UN and globalists plan on bent... Plans are bent on turning Canada into a third world country and bankrupt Canada on steroid... Excuse me, uh, bankrupt Canada on steroid using their progressive socialist and liberal ideologies. There's nothing progressive about their plan for the people of Canada. Well, and yours clearly is because you've progressed past the point of actually needing to have any facts or like, you know, real, real plans to back up your, your statistics here. Look up which federal politics parties supported, endorsed, promoted, promoted and signed the UN Co Global Compact of Open Borders in 2015, and another party signed it in 2018. We as a country cannot allow this to continue. <clears throat> we have to put the interests. Uh huh. Right. This uh, this uh, this this lady from Philippines is going to put Canada's interests first. Right. You can get tribe wear, everybody. You can wear this. And the good thing is, this almost this almost looks like something that a normal person would wear. Almost. Um, so that's pretty great. There's more we can look at on this website. We can go through their entire platform and how they plan to help everybody. Constructions. Let's click on one at random. Okay, so it's equally as vague. I mean, I, I can just show this. This isn't, like, not safe for work. It's all just a bunch of stuff. This is their platforms, right? Platform. And this is all their different, like, this is their beliefs, right? So, I mean, you click on any of these, like, I clicked on constructions, and it's like, oh, they're gonna actually tell us now the actual plan that they have, and, you know, what what specifically they will put into place if they get into power. And then you click on constructions. Uh, nationalize, uh, fund some stuff, and build some stuff, I don't know, whatever. It, it, it is literally like a five-year-old describing how they would run the country. Like, um, I'm gonna make more money so people aren't poor, and then I'm gonna give people more food so they aren't hungry! Uh, farmers. What do we got for farmers? Shoutouts to my boys out in the fields. Dairy, wheat, seafood farmers. You know, so their platform for farmers 
uh, you know, the platform that they have, the reason why you should vote for this political party, the reason their their stance on farmers is uh, dairy, weed, and seafood farmers. You know, they acknowledge that those people exist. I guess. Uh, yeah, that's cool. That's so great. That is so great. Uh, crime and corruption. How are you going to take care of crime? How are you going to take care of crime? How are you going to take the guns out of the hands of the young youth? Oh, we got a bunch here. Restore death penalty for treason, first degree murder, pedophilia. Well, just pedophilia, like just being a pedophile. Like you don't actually have to break any laws. You just have to be born wrong. I guess that makes sense. That sounds like something you people would do. Domestic terrorism, Ill illegal drug, drug trafficking, right? So wait, wait, wait. D death penalty for drug trafficking? Death penalty for firearms trafficking? Death penalty for date rape? Well, that's date slash rape. So I guess it's death. It's the death penalty for if you go on a date or if you rape someone. But amusingly, the way that this is written, the, uh, the, mu the amusing thing about date rape here is that the way that this is written, it does not actually imply that it, actual date rape is not allowed. Uh, genocide, that's illegal. That's a death penalty, sure. We're all cool on that. Uh, recruiting and cha training children and youth, age one to something, you know, youth, whatever. It's the youth. Uh, oh, 30 years old. Okay, this is a separate bullet point. Sorry. Now, uh, what I love about this is that this is, this is a, this is a political party, which is, uh, I mean, let's be real here, pretty much exclusively believed in and supported by, like, elderly white people, so, and the one old Filipino lady, so, I mean, the fact that they think that youth is 30 years old is really just wonderful. Selling illegal drugs and providing for free illegal drugs to children and youth. Again, youth, age 30. Like, age 30, by this definition, Marco Diaz, who preys on young kids' feet and is, is 25, is now the youth, according to this. So yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I think we can maybe just keep our boundaries where we have them, for now. Um, you know, death penalty for tr children as drug mule. This is very straight. It's again, it's funny to think of this is the stuff that was on their mind, was like using children as drug mules. They didn't stop to think about how they would reduce the size of government, really, or any platform for far farmers other than that they exist. But, but we needed to really crack down on the children drug mules and then economic sabotage. So if you like, I don't know, if you like fuck with someone's company, you get the fucking death penalty. Uh, 50 years in prison, imprisonment for killing someone with a firearm or weapon, right? So, okay, first degree murder, that's death penalty, but, but just, I guess like accidental or second or third degree, whatever, that's just 50 years. All right, you know, cool, sure. Maybe that, maybe killing at an ending a person's life, maybe that does ta deserve more than 25 years of your own. You know, that's fair. Rioting, 50 year imprisonment of a ri for rioting. So if you decide to rise up against this government, we have already, don't you worry, chat members, we, this Canada First Party and their hip, cool stock footage, stock, stock image logo here has already planted the seeds for shutting down your insurrection. Don't you even fucking worry about it. If you start rioting under Queen Romana, she will make sure... Because, again, she's right. I mean, her way is right, and you're wrong. So why would you riot, forehead? Like, don't be wrong. It's, it's really it's simple. I mean, I don't understand why people have trouble with this. Manufacturing illegal drugs, corruption and bribery, government... Uh, uh, member membership to terrorist groups, kidnapping, money laundering. All right, so 50 years imprisonment for money laundering. I don't know if that's that, like, I don't know. Is that that bad? Really? Money laundering? Isn't that like what, is that what Wesley Snipes did or something? Like, I don't know if that's that bad. I don't know. Money laundering. Uh, let's see. I mean... They said they wanted to reduce the size of government. Do they have anything here that actually covers that? No. No, they don't. Oh, no, 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 they do, they do. Oh, well, no, okay, they do. I got, I got my hopes up for a second because they have this whole list, right? What a Canada first government will do, which keep in mind the way this is phrased, what a Canada first government will do. 
Uh, they will do dairy, wheat, and seafood farmers. They'll do them. They'll do them. Don't you worry about that. But yeah, they, you know, you click on these and they take you to these pages that have like more info, except for government size. The big one, literally one of the biggest things you're saying is that you're going to reduce the size of the government from current size 100% down to 50% and then further down to 30 and there is no option to see how you're going to do this. There is no plan. There is absolutely no documentation as to how this is going to be done. Very cool. Poggers. Really epic. Love it. We love to see it. HRM Queen Romana Dildo. <sighs> Correct. I asked the team to park in front of the Pol Peterborough, Ontario police station for our safety and security. Plus, it was the best place to observe the interaction between police and we the people. I love this fucking we the people shit. That's so great. They really do be calling themselves we the people. You are from... Well, you are from the Philippines. These people are from Canada. Um, messages received from we the people saying thank you for the snacks served by Queen Ramana last Saturday in front of the police station in Peterborough, Ontario Police Canada. Peterborough, Ontario Police Canada. Oh, police station. Sorry. No, I'm stupid. Uh, you're welcome, hug emoji, purple heart emoji, crown emoji, because she's the queen, remember. Uh, I sensed people at that event were feeling hungry and thirsty. That's why I stood up from the front seat, observing, of the QR1RV, and cut up some cucumbers and served them. Then went and looked for other snacks to give to we the people, dot dot dot. Notice to the we the people of the king- <clears throat> The we the people, everybody. Notice to the we the people of Ca of the Kingdom of Canada, if you have videos, footage from Peterborough Poli uh, Ontario Police Station citizens arrest organized by a Peterborough Ontario citizens, please post them here for everyone to see. And then we have this, which I guess is like a meme. Oh my goodness, what is this? Is this like a is this, is this like an album cover? Is this like an Animorphs? What is this? Why is she an alien? Oh yeah, because she's a Pleiadian alien or something, right? Which is funny because the Pleiadians are like space white people, so... I mean, that's great. You know, it really just goes to show you that all it takes to get a following and get popular... Like, this lady is not particularly, like, attractive or, like, smart or well-spoken or anything, but all it takes is just some ingenuity and, you know, quite a lot of insanity. And you too can be fucking famous. Um, an article mentioned Queen Ramana is fighting, fighting globalists. An article mentioned Queen Ramana is fighting cabal. An article mentioned Queen Ramana is fighting pedophiles. I love this. I love this. An article mentioned. Someone said it. You know? This is like when you get like a shitty old like B movie from the 80s. And it's just got a fucking quote that's like not attributed to anybody. Like... High speed action, quote unquote. Uh, who's that? Is that a quote from? A no, that's just a quote. That's just a quote. The director said that. Excuse me. What? what? Someone, a low hanging fruit, which is really an interesting term to be using when you type the way you do. That's just all I'm saying. But a low hanging fruit said money given by we the people to Canada first was going to a political party. I'm starting to get actively annoyed by this we the people thing. These people are stupid! And I mean, we have this circled here, and for some reason the date is underlined. I don't know why. But we have this circled here that says, the problem can be fixed pretty easily, and your funds are safe. Your Canada First Party of Canada account has a balance of blah blah blah. I mean, it literally says that it is going to a political party. And then it says, oh, some idiot thinks that the money that people send us is going to a political party? And it's literally named after your political party, what? Why are we stupid? I would argue that no indeed, ma'am, you are the one who is, and I quote, stupid. Crying while laughing emoji, rolling while crying while laughing emoji. I would argue that that is you, indeed, who is stupid. Uh, to all I ams slash divine light holders in the kingdom of Canada and around the world and planet Earth and around the planet of Earth and the world and all the nations of, you know, you know, Europe and Canada and 
like Austria and Germany or whatever, like everywhere. Um, stand up divine, stand up divine, rise up divine, rise up divine, and shine divine, shine divine, you're good and deep. Hang on, hang on. Stand up divine, stand up divine, rise up divine, rise up divine. I am Queen Romana, bliss you. Queen Romana's pure, holy, and divine light timeline now. Check mark, check mark, check mark. Energy of one, check mark, check mark, check mark. Peace, prosperity, creative force engage, connect to your highest self, money blockages removal, divine karma, receive hundreds of thousands of money from everywhere. Hundreds of thousands of money, everybody. Quantum warp underscore speed one comma thousand comma space thousand thousand million X Queen Romana's holy and divine timeline energy now travel hashtag safe and hashtag protect queen romana and queen romana's peace and prosperity mobile government of the kingdom of canada now writing emoji and so it is uh, and then there's frogs and cues peace and prosperity or perish i don't play politics well you know you have a political party every now and then i look at something like this and it's the same with like channeling eric or whatever any of these things or you look at this and it's like, how could somebody ever believe this? And you go through this and it's like, oh, what's that? I'm going to get infinite hundreds of thousands of money and divine energy and I'll be safe and protected. Oh, that sure sounds cool. What is energy of one and creative force engage? What is divine karma? I don't know, but I want that. So I guess I believe you now. It's just... Is it literally this easy to just, I mean, you know, allegedly is all around here, not, not making any allegations. Sure, this is totally legitimate, but is it really this easy to just scam people? Like, I don't know, chat. You know, I watch like the anti-scammer, like the scam baiter people and like, you know, Atomic Shrimp, Jim Browning, they'll say like, oh, well, anybody is susceptible to the scam. You know, just because you think, oh, how could anybody fall fall for this? There is a scam out there that's targeted to you, and you will fall for it. And it's, some other person will be like, well, how could you fucking make that mistake? You're an idiot. And I, I respect that, and I, I feel that to some extent, but, like, my god. If you are legitimately reading this crazy bitch's raving, she just uses all these fucking, like, like, fucking emojis like a psychopath that she's literally just like I will give you all the things you want and everything you want will be thanks to me and I will do all of the things that are good and nothing that is bad because you don't like things that are bad and I am good and not bad and then they just give her all of their fucking money that is wow I, f I hate society holy f I need to drink more I mean it's that you literally just tell people hey give me your money I'll give you more money yeah no what do you mean that doesn't make any sense shut up and then they just do it Fucking hell, people are, I, I swear to God, regardless what country you are, are in, your natural, nation, oh Jesus Christ, your natural resources should be nationalized by your leadership, making you the, we the people owners of those natural wealth, period. But then instead of a period, she has three periods. So I guess it's not period, something, the, the implication of the, the, the dot, 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 the ellipses is that there is indeed more to come. You can't, you literally cannot do period dot dot dot. That is wrong. That's, that's just wrong. That's like if you just, you might as well have just went period and then had a comma at the end. Fuck you! You know you can trust the queen when she's forwarding messages. She's just like, she's just like <clears throat> fucking like retweeting people over here. Oh shit, standing by for comms. D Delta Tango Delta, we got a Foxtrot down. We got a Foxtrot down. I repeat, over. We got a Foxtrot down. We got we got a Whiskey Tango Delta Foxtrot Marco Falco de, de Felta. And they're like following like military aircraft as they go over Ontario. They're they're following the tr the the military flight plans. Like this is kind of a little bit concerning. Uh, more than a little, perhaps. And then we have this, which is probably something uh, something. But, you know, we have the full authority to use all necessary weapons coming over here from H.H. King David J. Carlson 
And I wonder if the HH is standing for what I think it stands for. Oh, she's got like fucking business cards. Are you kidding me? Oh my, the literally business cards. You get this fucking business card. The queen, the kingdom of Canada. Her, why would the queen of Canada have a business card? Why would the queen of Canada have a gab? Oh my God, look at the back of this card. There's a QR code. There's a bit shoot. There's something called a brand new tube, which I have never heard of. Is probably entirely filled with psychopaths. Uh, there's a rumble. Uh, there is a gab. In truth for peace and prosperity. Blah, 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 blah. Crazy bullshit. Yeah, I mean, it's just insanity. I mean, it's just insanity. And there's more. And I might do a... A follow up or something. Do a uh, do a second stream, something like that. This will probably be like a Romana watch because it's again sixty thousand something followers uh, believe this woman and are apparently rising up. The gamers are rising up, chat. So, I mean, the revolution will be telev televised, and I will be the one to televise it. Fuck the hiccups. Um, hey there, thanks for making it all the way to the end. Uh, hopefully you got to the end of this video before YouTube inevitably nukes it for discussing a prohibited topic, I think. I don't know. I mean, I'm clearly being, you know, I'm clearly not in support of this said topic. Uh, but, you know, uh, that doesn't matter. So, I mean, get the viewing in quick now, folks. Save the video, because who knows? Uh... But thank you for watching. Uh, I, I big thanks as usual to my uh, twenty dollar and up Patreon friends. We got Brent Thornton, Zach Carter, Stilk Meek, Rob of the East, Andy Blackout Drums, Grand Admiral Urin Fetus, Vince Bear, Holly Hentai, Soup, Allison Parker, Ben Smith, Akat, and Drugs Bunny, as well as my top boys. Uh, Xylax, Jura Lumen, and Tunnel God. Thank you all very much. Uh, this one took a little while. I mean, I would say it took a while to make, but I kind of just stopped making it. I, I, I had like the first half done, and then I was like, I got to the part where it was like her websites and stuff, and I was like, well, I don't really know what to add to this or how to edit it. I don't know, I was able to put something together, and I think it, uh, I think it worked out okay. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, about it for this one. Uh, join the Patreon today to see the upcoming... It was gonna be one, uh, Patreon-exclusive thing. This Now it's gonna be, like, multiple. I'm basically just doing a Patreon-exclusive stream where I do multiple little segments, and they will be... I mean, it's not a stream, it'll be recorded, but it'll be that kind of thing, and we just look at a bunch of different stuff. So join today to experience that, and, uh, yeah. Uh, sub to the channel if you want to see some more nonsense in the future. Uh, as long as I still have one. Take it easy, folks, and, uh, don't let your dick fall off.